Hey, Jim Bergman on behalf of AccuTools. We get a lot of calls all the time just asking about, you know, how do I test my, my vacuum gauge and how do I test my core tools and how do I test my hoses to see if things are leaking. And, and it's actually, a, it's a pretty tricky science because it's not just about leakage, it's about a process called absorption. And absorption uh, is sort of the op is, um, is, is a, 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 a surface's ability to hold moisture, right? And we're talking about that, it's uh, like at a molecular level, moisture is bonded to the surface. So it's not talking about liquid water here, it's almost like a sponge, where the metal will absorb moisture, it'll bond at a molecular level, and then those moisture bonds have to break through a process called desorption. And desorption takes time. So the first thing you want to do is, and about the only reference we have in the field, if we're going to see if something is working correctly, first of all, is our vacuum pump. So what I've got hooked up here is I've got a NAVAC 12 CFM pump. This is the one I use all the time in the shop. And there's a couple things I want you to, to be aware of. Number one is our micron gauge is rated plus or minus five microns. So right now it's reading 25 microns. It could be as low as 20 and as high as 30 microns. My pump here is rated at, on this one, five microns. Now you're going, oh, well, the pump's defective. Well, no, it's not. The pump is rated with at five microns with fresh dry oil in it, the right type of oil. There's two different types of oil here. This is a NAVAC uh, high-end vacuum pump oil. This is like a $45 quart oil versus this one, which may be a $10 or less uh, quart oil. And the oil makes a big difference in the performance of the pump. Now, this pump does have the high-end oil in it, but I've been using it for over a year now in my shop and the oil, it does have some moisture in it. It's gonna take time for it to dry out. I probably have to let this pump run for several hours to achieve its ultimate micron rating. In this case here, I'm at 25, 26 microns. So anything below 30 microns, if your pump holds anything below 30, your pump is doing really, really well. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just zoom in here once just so you can show the micron rating of the pump. And you can see here we're at 26 microns, again, the pump is performing perfectly on here. I'm just gonna kill the pump for a second and I'm gonna take out a, um, a Appian core tool, right? And these are used by a lot of guys all over the industry. This is brand new out of the box. All I'm gonna do is just replace that uh, core tool or you know, put the core tool in line here. And we're gonna pull it back down again. So now we turn this on here, it's gonna you're going to see a couple of different things here. So ultimately we're going to lose some vacuum here because I'm including more components in here. And we're going to lose some vacuum because I have now increased surface area for desorption to take place, which means you know, this thing's wet. It's been in a, it's been in a box. It's rated at, uh, I believe Appian rates here, core tools. It says vacuum rated at 20 microns. And again, this may not achieve 20 microns right away because it's the leak rate that it can overcome. So when they say rated to 20 microns, I have to have something that can pull down below 20 microns. In other words, if my pump can pull down to zero, then this thing will, will overcome uh, 20 microns of leak rate, so it will show 20. If my pump can only pull down to 20, then I should expect this core tool to read around 40 microns on it. Right now you can see them at 52, 51 microns here. And so we have lost some vacuum here because we we're at 25 before. And so we'll expect this to get down to around uh, 45 microns or less. You can see we're, we're there already, right? So this core tool is fine. Now, let me show you something here. Stay with, staying close to the camera for just a minute. I'm gonna slowly start to close this and you're gonna see that jump up. And again, this is not the core tool leaking. This is trapped gases and moisture that's on the side of the ball valve that's increasing in pressure. So when I get this all the way isolated off here and that snaps sort of locks, now you can see that pressure is continuing to rise. And you go, wow, I got a defective core tool wired right out of the box. Well, no, you don't. You have this little, little tiny bit of volume here, little tiny bit of volume and a lot of surface area. And this is just moisture desorption taking place. It's building up the pressure in the gauge. Gauge is fine. Core tool is fine. I'm going to open this back up again. You'll see it'll come right back down again, right? Ultimate pull down on this guy is somewhere around. We'll just let it go for a couple seconds here see where it sort of stalls out and it'll continue to drop as it as it does additional desorption but it's gonna looks like it's gonna drop down below 40 microns uh, there we go 39 microns and we're good 
So now let's, let's test. There's a little bit of difference here. I'll show you on this. This is the AccuTools version. And AccuTools does some stuff a little bit differently than uh, the Appian one. Um, so we're right at 34 microns. I'll go ahead and kill this and disconnect it. So we're going to go ahead, we'll connect this guy up here. And we'll do the same test again. And remember, ultimate pull down of the pump was about uh, 25 microns. Again, pump's working fine, gauge is fine, and it's about overcoming that leak rate. We'll turn this one on here. And so I'll start in these pumps, which is really nice. Um, so we're down right now to uh, 192, 75, 66. Go ahead and shoot the pull down for just a minute. 45, 40, 37. 34, you can see we've already uh, far surpassed the, um, the Appian uh, pull down here. And we're almost down to the ultimate pull down of the pump. And it's just simply uh, a little bit better design of the core tool. We're at 24, 25 microns. And this one's, you know, we're achieving a little bit better now. Um, and it, part of it's, this stem's had a little bit of time to dry, but we'll flop them around again just so we can do an A-B test. So you can see this one's down to 21 microns already, right? And uh, so it's down to the ultimate pull down of the pump. So we'll do two things here. So you can see we're at, at 20 microns. I'm gonna pull this off. We'll disconnect it. We'll just retest the pump again real quick. As things run and dry out, your ultimate vacuum is gonna get a little lower. And then we'll just swap around with this core tool one more time. Again, you gotta watch, you got those trap gases in there. So we can see down to 29, 27, 26. And this will get down to that 20 micron range again pretty quickly, 23. So again, very uh, low losses in the, uh, in the AccuTools product. Um, but both of them are doing you know, they're, what they're rated at, okay? Uh, so it's not that this core tool is, is defective, it's just a uh, different design and uh, Snug that up here and we'll do one more test. All right, so we'll just pull that down again. And having that uh, different gasket design does make a big difference. We'll make sure everything's snug. So it's all about overcoming the leak rate, not about um, anything else on here. And, and uh, when you test these core tools, again, they're all gonna perform the same. You can see this one's coming down a lot slower. Um, and uh, everything's snug on it, side cap's tight. Uh, it's just a, a matter of the increased uh, surface area in the inside of that is giving it a little bit slower uh, degassing and dehydration. And this again is all about desorption. And so you can see, we'll let that go to it stabilizes here. And again, if we valve this off, you're gonna see that rise. That's completely normal. And you're gonna see that you know, start to climb. It's about what we can overcome. And when we get on a bigger volume, like a whole system, you just won't see that anymore. It's just this volume so tiny. So you can see we're, you know, right in that 52, 53 micron range, and we're, we're a good couple, couple minutes in. And we'll just swap this real quick here. So you can see 44, 45. We'll just do an A-B test. Okay, everything's snug. And let that pull down. You can see we're already passing up where we're at before. So uh, that's all there is to test in core tools. You can see we're at 35. I'm gonna slip this one. I just wanna show you this one will do the same kind of rise. We're at 30 microns. I'm gonna slowly valve that off. You'll see that rise. And if I isolate this off, you'll see that uh, increase. And that's simply, again, trap gases in the core tool, desorption, and any leakage that is just normal. You can see already up to 225 microns. So you can't test the core tool on its own because it's just too small of a volume and there's too much desorption taking place. But you can see, uh, when you look at these two core tools, compare them side by side, the AccuTools one does perform better, but they're both performing to their uh, specification. So uh, we're down to 21 microns again like that. 
And that's all there is to testing them. If you've got any questions or you got any comments on the video, please uh, uh, like and subscribe to our channel. And uh, I'd be glad to do any other uh, demos if you guys want a, a different demonstration or you want to see something different. This is Jim on behalf of AccuTools. Thanks a lot for watching.